puede hablar de más allá de eso. ¿Por qué no? No, acá piensan algo mal es. Qué malo. I still can't believe that I fucking pulled this off and we can were able to leave to Bolivia with this bike. So. Hola amigos, today we're at the border of Peru and Bolivia and today we're living at Bolivia but first I thought uh, I should fix my bike up because it's literally falling apart so yesterday I actually tried to leave Bolivia but uh, I tried to enter Bolivia but it failed because I tried a different crossing and I actually already stamped out of Peru and the guy came running and said that I cannot leave with my bike because I don't have residency here in Peru uh, but he said that maybe I can try a different crossing and uh, maybe I can pass with my bike. But yesterday I also tried the same crossing and I didn't know, but you cannot make free movements in the country uh, at, at the same day. So basically I left the country, I entered the country and I wanted to leave again, but you cannot do that. So yeah, uh, we're gonna wait for the mechanic now, fix the bike and then try to go to Bolivia, to La Paz, to the capital. Uh, let's see how it goes. So while we're waiting for the mechanic, maybe we get some food and uh, What's a better uh, last meal for uh, Peru than ceviche? And I think there's a ceviche post right here. Hola, hay ceviche? Si? ¿Cuánto vale por cien? Si, si, uno. Si, uno. Si. Guys, the last meal of Peru is gonna be ceviche. It's mi la última comida en Peru y creo que el mejor es ceviche, no? <laughs> Typical ceviche with corn, sweet potato. And this is the ceviche. Muchas gracias. So it basically looks like a soup, but it's a very delicious meal. Gracias. Yes, yeah, so we have the ceviche, the sweet potato, the corn swimming, and some onion. Uh, all you need for a perfect, perfect ceviche. Let's give it a taste. Mm. It's a meal of kings, guys. Meal of kings. Fucking delicious. Guys, so I finished the whole meal, but he gave me a little bit more just uh, just for the sake of it. <laughs> That's so right. Not gonna be that easy because basically there was a screw here and it broke, and you c you have to like remove it with a special tool, and he doesn't have the tool here, uh, so I have to have find another mechanic that will have the tool. Ah, fuck me. Okay, guys, so I fixed my bike. The seat here now I came to this migration office where I can stand myself out and hopefully leave with the bike I've been here yesterday but I couldn't leave as I already mentioned you cannot make free movements in the country uh, the same day but uh, let's go for the best now so actually here you stamp out of Peru and you stamp into Bolivia it's the same checkpoint so you it was very fast I stamped out of Peru now I have a stamp in Bolivia and now I have to go around there to uh, have a like a transmit a transit for uh, motorcycle so uh, hope for the best okay so somehow I was able to get the documents to leave with my moto it was really hard because to leave Peru with a Peruvian motorcycle and if you're a foreigner you have to have a red residence here but I didn't have it so I lied to them that I'm working here and I'm working in Lima and I have a friend that works in Lima and I asked him to email me a document for his pay and after that, I <laughs> sent that document to my friend and we changed the name and uh, everything that uh, it's on my name and somehow I was able to pull it through. ¿Por qué no? No, acá piensan algo mal. ¿Qué mala? No puedes hablar así. Ah, sí. Disculpa. Yo, yo, yo. ¿De dónde vienes? Lituania. Voy a Bolivia. Sí. Muchas gracias. So guys, I'm able to leave to Bolivia. Let's go. Vamos, sí. Sí. ¿Qué algo malo piensa? No, no, no es así fácil. Sí. Es que pide bueno, para ser discúlpame, bien discúlpame. Guys, so as you're the lady, didn't let me film because she doesn't know me and she might, uh, people might think something bad. That was super weird. I still can't believe that I fucking pulled this off and we can were able to leave to Bolivia with this bike. So guys, let's go. Bolivia is just down there, uh, two minutes ride. There's a place where we can change money, but I'm gonna check in my phone what's the actual exchange range because I have a uh, solace from Peru. 
And I want to check what's the exchange rate so he wouldn't scam me. This is how Bolivianos looks. So she gave me an actual exchange rate, so about maybe 10 Bolivianos less. It's about exchange 270 soles. That's about 470 Bolivia Bolivianos. That's $70. But yeah, I'm in a town that's like... Uh, uh, has a border so there's one side is Bolivian and the other side is Peru so today was a goal to reach uh, La Paz but I think I'm not gonna make it so I'm just gonna find a, a place to sleep here and tomorrow we're going to La Paz guys okay, so let's check this one Hotel Mirador what's the price here Mira, tengo 50 exactamente sí, sí. sí por favor <laughs> 55, 5 no está Porque un matrimonial te voy a dar, pues. 55? Ese cuesta 80 bolivianos. Bueno. We got a deal of 55 bolivares. It's about $7, but it's with a shared bathroom, but it has a hot water, so I really don't care. And I can park my bike as well. Uh, she said 60 at first. I tried to make a deal for 50 for about two minutes, but she couldn't make a deal, so 55 it is. Let's go around and check out the room. Wow, this is a fancy looking hotel. Let's look how fancy the room looks. Okay, so our first Bolivian room, uh, nothing too special because there's ev not even a bathroom here, but uh, we have two beds, so uh, once again, if I had any friends, it would be cheaper. I paid $4, $8 for this, it's 55 Bolivianos. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> the bed is basically made of wood. The Pillow is okay, I don't mind this. Nice uh, shelf to place our stuff. Let's go check how the ba the shared bathroom where it looks. At least she said that uh, there's a hot shower. All in all, the hotel looks pretty fancy, I won't, I won't say. We have a sink, nice. A beautiful man, and uh, oh, this is for woman, woman. And we have a shower with hot water. And some uh, typical pressure. The view from outside is very nice. So, uh, I don't know, maybe let's go get some food. I would love to try some Bolivian cuisine, but I don't even have any idea what it is. And as we're so close to Peru, it's probably mixed up, so there's nothing more typical right here, probably. But uh, either way, let's go find some food, man. Uh, I have so much adrenaline now because of that fake documents that I did, so <laughs> I just don't even know what to do. I don't, I don't find my space now. <laughs> Pregunta, ¿qué es comida típica boliviana? <laughs> ¿No eres boliviana? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, pero no sabes. Ah, bueno. Entonces, muchas gracias. Yes, yeah, so as I thought, guys, we're at the border of Peru and Bolivia, so there's not really uh, typical dishes here of Bolivia. So, uh, let's go get some chicken. <laughs> Fucking chicken. Rich. No, quiero solo dos presas y una porción de papas. 25, bueno. Okay, so this is what we get for $3.60. Uh, two big chunks of fucking chicken. Some fries. Mm, I think I could feel the, feed the whole family with this. But let's taste the, taste the chicken. Let's see if it competes with the Kentucky Gods. On par, on par, really fucking delicious. What it lacks is a little bit of salt. And that's how we get a perfect bite. Mm. I don't even know if I can eat this all, but it's super delicious. Okay, so the chicken was devoured, and I just wanted to make you show you a point where the border is. So basically, down there is uh, Peru. Up here is Bolivia live here and the same city can basically play. Oh hi! <laughs> you made it! You made it! Yeah, nice. Good for you. <laughs> I met this guy, um, the border control. We had a lot of troubles as well uh, entering Bolivia, but they finally made it. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, people who are live in this village can basically uh, cruise uh, to Bolivia and Peru without any problems.
And yeah, I don't know what to do else. Just go back into the hotel wait for tomorrow and then we go on our trip to the Basque capital of Romania. Good morning guys. So uh, we're leaving the town of Dasaguidera. We're saying goodbye to Peru, we're saying goodbye to Lake Titicaca and we're going to the capital of uh, Bolivia, that's called La Paz. I think it's the capital, or maybe it isn't, but I don't know. I think that's the, where the government is, but the capital I think is different, but it's like the main city of Bolivia. It's about two hours ride. Uh, I want to get some breakfast. I wanted to leave the town because I wanted to go deeper into Bolivia and try some uh, more of the local cuisine. I'm not sure how local it is, but uh, we're going to find out. So uh, let's go and uh, find some breakfast and uh, on our way to La Paz. There's just some kind of a control point with uh, military. I don't know what it's about, but maybe they're just checking for the baggage or just like uh, if you're uh, <coughs> legally, your car is valid in uh, Bolivia or something. Si, es rico comida. Si? Cuyo rico. Rico, eh? Claro. No probaste? No. En serio? No. En Bolivia no están comiendo esto? It's muy popular in Peru. Uh, aquí no. Aquí bueno, no. Yo, de donde soy, no. Ah. Uh. Hola. Hay algo para comer? Falta, ¿Eh? Falta, todavía falta. ¿Cuánto? Unos 40 minutos más. Oh. ¿Dónde puedo comer? ¿De o algo así? Abajo. Oh, yeah? A Pueblo. A Pueblo? Pueblo. Gracias. Gracias. It is... Pero esto parece muy rico. <laughs> es típico en Bolivia comer esto, ¿sí? Sí. ¿Sí? Uh, me gusta. <laughs> yeah. Looks fucking delicious, guys, but uh, it's not cooked yet. And it's like 40 minutes. He said that we can go to that village, so let's go give it a try. Yeah, I came to the little village. Uh, well, the village is more down there, but there was a place to eat and I'm really hungry, so I didn't want to look further. So we're gonna get some trucha, I don't know what it is, I think it's like some chicken or something, and uh, soup of quinoa. So uh, let's go take a look. This is the soup that we got, it looks more like a stew, because it has a lot of like meat, potatoes, and he said it's a soup of quinoa, but it's, it doesn't seem that uh, the usual quinoa soup that I ate in Peru. Let's go give it a try. like a very welcoming soup yeah, to Bolivia. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the soup has, wasn't actually a quinoa, it was chinoa. That's why it looked a little bit different. But we got the second meal. And it's so nice because it's, it looks like it just was cooked. So it's very uh, fresh and uh, nice. Let's go give it a taste for that. Trucha. Mm. Seasoned well. Mm, fucking amazing. And we have uh, four different kinds of potato. Let's start with this one. It looks like the weirdest one, the dark one. Mm. It's a very hard potato. Mm. It's super weird. Four different kinds of potato. And this one's a little bit different. It's kind of the same like this. I think this is the, like the normal potato. Mm. Fucking nice and delicious meal and only for two dollars. And... I was thinking maybe we should go uh, and check out the main square of the village. It's always a nice sight to see. Nice little cozy town. And I see some delicious uh, dessert that we can try. Hola. ¿Qué es con chocolate? Bueno, pero es bueno, rico. Ah, es de 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 huevo, sí. No. No. Crema de leche. Ah, crema de leche. Bueno, compro uno. Guys, let's try the sugar bomb that we just bought. It's a uh, uh, cream cream milk cream and uh, some chocolate at the bottom. Mm. Not bad. Mm. The chocolate is very strong. It's a very nice uh, sugar bomb after the lunch. Fuck, I destroyed it in a few seconds. It was really delicious. Uh, 
But yeah, let's go back on the road to La Paz. It's about uh, 70 kilometers. Uh. Guys, so I've been in La Paz for like 20 minutes. It's, it's a very huge city. And to get to near the center takes a little bit of time while driving a motorcycle. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to this hostel that I found on booking that costs like $4. Uh, because I'm a cheap man, so uh, let's go find the hostel, guys. Bajuak, nahus, puro, blad, dalpoyobis, sti nahus. Esta ciudad es loco, man. Es muy difícil encontrar y manejar aquí. Holy shit, I don't know how, guys, but I got to the Pautiti Patuti Hotel. Hostel. It was really hard, as I understood. The city is made from two parts, so El Alto and La Paz. So we're now currently in La Paz, and if you want to get to El Alto, you have to use those cable cars. And I, I drove literally maybe like 40, 30 minutes. I have some footage. It's so crazy, it's like maze, maze, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna go check in, uh, park my bike. Yeah, so this is the hostel. Apparently this is like the chill zone. We have uh, even a place where to work out, but I asked the guy if I can work out here and he said no because it's his, so that was really random. But yeah, doesn't look the cleanest, doesn't look the, the best, but it's only like $4 a night. Uh, this is the sleeping room. Of course, bunk beds in the hostel. I took this one because it has uh, sockets right here and uh, let me show you the, the, the kitchen also has like a kitchen where you can cook and stuff yeah as I said it doesn't look the, the, the cleanest, the nicest but uh, yeah it's not a problem for me so uh, yeah let's go get some food uh. guys so I walked about 25 minutes from the hostel that I'm staying in because I'm searching for a specific food that's basically have some uh, uh, French fries, you have chorizo and you have cheese and I it sounds super fucking delicious and I really want to try that But people told me that I have to go to this market called San Pedro San Pedro, what do you know? Cusco, San Pedro, here's San Pedro as well Maybe we can find drugs here as well But uh, yeah, I hear some music, I hear some people, so maybe it's somewhere down there Guys, we're gonna try sal salchicha It's uh, basically like pasta with peanuts and some chorizo should say it tastes nice. It's only five uh, Bolivianos, so it's about uh, one dollar or something like that. No, 50 cents. Es rico? Muchas gracias. Okay, guys, look for how it looks. See, my friend. ¿Qué quieres, my friend? Guys, let's try this uh, food. No entiendo. Nada. Ajá. Para el chipa, mano. Guys, uh, we have a drunky, but uh, let's try this food. So this is basically just pasta with some chorizo. It's not what I wanted to find, but it still looks fucking delicious. Shouldn't eat it with a spoon. Yeah. Mm. It's not bad. And the chorizo? Not the best chorizo it is, but it's a pretty good meal. Uh, not the best meal, guys, but uh, it was super cheap. I think I came into some uh, weird area because everyone is super drunk or uh, on drugs or something like that. Hola. ¿Cuánto costa esta galleta con chocolate? Bueno, una para mí. Okay, let's try some uh, biscuits. Looks fucking delicious. Okay, it's one Boliviano uh, cookie tasting taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's not super dry. It's a little bit dry though, but it's good. Ah, nice. And I think I saw some uh, frappuccino place down there to the top that I'm really uh, in the mood right now. So what I was talking about, it looks super delicious. 
Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Hay frappuccino? Eh, sí, pero solamente tengo el de 15. ¿Con qué? ¿Con qué es? Café, leche. ¿Rico? Mm -hmm. 15. 15. Bueno, dame uno. Yeah. Guys, it's 15 bolivianos, but I think it's gonna be super delicious. So let's give it a try. Para mí? Para mí? ¿O no? ¿Sí? Let's see. Let's, let's see the $2 um, Bolivian Frappuccino presentation. Let's give it a 9 out of 10 because uh, the cookie is uh, too deep. Overall looks good. You can see a lot of chocolate, coffee, some cream on the top. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Super fucking sweet as expected. But you can feel the coffee at least. Mm. I like it. And only two dollars better than Starbucks, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode and um, see you next time.